Video Making 101. Consider your audience. Hmm, the audience for this video. Huh, well, that's easy. Nobody. <laughs> Alright, seriously, sup ding dongs, poor fear. Today we're gonna talk about a topic near and dear to my heart Prism games. Now, see, I own a bunch of them on the PS4. In case you couldn't tell from all the garbage I regularly upload to this trash channel. And I figured, you know, hey, I could compare and contrast them. I've got enough time played on each. I know the difference is like the back of my hand. And tell, I did my homework. I made a detailed list of topics to deeply cross-examine them all. I can handle this. Piece of cake. Until I realized it wasn't. Few things. One, almost 80% of my footage is exclusively for one game in particular. And number two, I severely underestimated the amount of script writing, video capturing, and editing it would take for just one game, let alone all of them. Along with trying to balance, you know, information with entertainment, basic struggles. Oh, and you know what? Sure, why not? Number three. Uh, Tatsune Miku and everything that surrounds her is an infinite sea of content. And I don't just mean playing all 238 songs in Future Tone once. I mean all of her videos and songs outside of the games, all the advertising she's been in, her histories, live shows, performances, everything. There is too much because anyone can take Miku and make her sing their own song, and commercially, she's been everywhere. From pizza to jet planes. Ultimately, if all I wanted to do was share some of my favorite bits of songs and videos from a few games, then I've inadvertently given myself a monster of a video series to make instead, because... You know what? I don't know why. But I also don't believe in the sunk cost fallacy, apparently. So I'm just gonna have to break this into parts before I die. I still plan on touching on the other rhythm games I own on the PS4, albeit lightly. But as for Future Tone, I am just in way too deep now. I started this back in January. It's almost April, and what do I have to show for my work so far? Nothing! Maybe it's not quite as long as the gap between its last DLC and the newest one, about like a week ago. That went, uh, two years? I mean, hell, I thought this game was dead. Whoosh, editor Porv here. Uh, past Porv, you're an idiot. That was like a year and a half, not two years, come on. Oh, and also, uh, please pick up more Mountain Dew. Thanks. But you know what? Hey, we can all say a prayer for our dear departed friend DDR and get the show on the road already. Let's see. Uh, this one. Hey, you could have put those months getting good at an actual instrument instead of video games. Eh, shut up. I'll never be good at a real instrument. Those require talent. While not her first foray on the PlayStation 4, Hatsune Miku, Project Diva Future Tone, has to be one of the largest, if not THE largest, collection of Vocaloid songs turned game, featuring that pizza rapscallion herself, Hatsune Miku. You didn't you think, think I'd forgotten, forgotten about, about that, that, did you? Once your pizza's delivered, have some fun with Miku! No, 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 no. You see, this right here, this is burned into my soul. I have been trying to forget this. It comes with a social camera function and you can take various poses. Pictures of Miku. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. And the pizza box will turn into a live dancing venue. In case you were too distracted by her hut dance. Hut, 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 hut. Wait, are you, wait, are you kidding me? It was Domino's, not Pizza Hut? Oh crap. The term Vocaloid refers to the unique singing voice synthesizer or, more simply, singing software, employed by our popular personification of digital music technology herself. 
Niku is a sensation that gained massive popularity on Niko Niko, effectively Japan's YouTube, where users created and shared videos of their own songs made with the music software, one of my personal favorites being Rolling Girl. And as more and more fan art, music videos, and songs were created, they soon bridged the gap from online media to the real world, whether it was just amateur cosplay or real concerts around the globe. Man, they must make a killing on light sticks. What might be the most recognizable appearance to the average American on the street, if they've heard of her at all, may be her appearance as a musical guest on The David Letterman Show. Hatsune Miku, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. She's even starred in virtual concerts, if you can believe that. This footage taken from Fantasy Star Online, too. She's appeared in Google commercials, Toyota commercials. You want a bacon wrap hot dog? Woo, yeah, woo, yeah. This is a Toyota wanna... commercial. Give it a second. No, really. This, this is the Toyota commercial. This is to sell Toyotas. This is real. This is on Toyota's YouTube channel. This is to sell Toyotas. Uh, <sighs> Sorry about that. Well, if it's any consolation, it looks like the site's down now. Anyway... She's completely invaded the city of Sapporo during their snow festivals, Sapporo being where Krypton, her creators, are located. And hey, look at that! It's the 10th anniversary this year. Neato. And uh, early on, a yearly tradition began of running an online competition, open to everyone, to design her Snow Miku outfit for that year. But her dominance doesn't end there. She's on race cars and their models, referenced in pop culture and anime, <laughs> completely unrelated video games, <laughs> and fuck, she's even been to space! There are three, count them, three aluminum plates featuring her aboard the Akatsuki Space Probe, aka the Venus Climate Orbiter. Just don't, uh, look up if it actually made it to Venus. Yeah, it entered an orbit around the sun, whoops. Miku has successfully infiltrated international pop culture on and off this planet, and she has no plans on coming down anytime soon. And now, from those lofty heights, we arrive back down on Earth with the humble series of Rhythm games produced by Sega. In particular, their latest entry in Miku's popular series, Hatsune Miku, Project Eva Future Tone, on the PlayStation 4. Alright, thanks for watching. This has taken me way longer than I would have expected, but uh, next time we'll actually have some game footage. About time! Very cool. Very cool. Very cool.